Woo, there you are. All right. It's time to work on Andrew and Todd's 68 Winnebago. Short blocks over there. Heads are yonder over here. Got some little onesie twosie things to do. Um, first thing we did today already. Whoop, move them back, back, back. Don't fall. Probably gonna fall anyway. Put our dowel pins in the deck of the block. Pretty pretty. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. Time to get you some head. Cylinder heads, that is. All right, before we do our installed heights, I think it's time for a little bear claw goodness. Andrew and Todd, they take care of me. Whenever they know I'm coming over, they surprise me with a, a bear claw from Panera, which is honestly probably the best bear claw I've ever had. I'm fat and I approve this message. Anyway, gonna do a little bear claw time in a minute. We're gonna get started here. We'll be checking for our installed heights now that we got the right micrometer to set our installed heights. Our new springs need to be set at one inch, 625 thousandths, so 1625. So we will be checking and shimming and doing our thing just to get our shims figured out. These shims will go bye-bye. These springs will go bye-bye. These retainers will go bye-bye. The -bye. Um, only thing we're using there is the locks. So away we go. Did I mention there's bear claws? There's bear claws. There's our new crane retainers. They're just steel. Nothing too crazy. Because we don't want to get all zany here. This isn't a big old NASCAR race motor. We're not going to be spinning it over... 5,000, 5,500 RPM, so it's just going to be chug-a-lugging along. So we got that. We got our micrometer. We're going to grab these can go our exhaust valve. Put it in the hole, Stuart. All right. Get our locky lockies. Set them sons of bitches down. Gonna put our micrometer and our lock and our retainer on like so. I'll slide the locks in there. Kind of hard to do with one hand. And then I will show you where they're at. You ever feel like you're being watched. So we're at 1,700 with no shims. So we need 75,000 of shims to uh, make magic happen. Bear claw, crazy delicious. All right, now we're gonna do our intake valve, check our height. And we will continue on all the way down, get them all set, have everything ready to go. Can someone tell me what the filling is in a bear claw? It's like almondy and delicious. Yeah. Anybody got that info? Maybe you should uh, send that over to me. That'd be great. Did I mention this bear claw is delicious? All right. Intake side is just over 1700 it's about we'll call that 1704 so we need to put about 50,000 shim in there and uh good to go i'll get all of them checked out shimmy 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 yeah bear claw All right, now that we've taken care of our installed heights on both heads, got everything figured out. All our new goodies, springs, shims, retainers, dialed in, ready to go. We got old springs over here that are gonna go garbage con. 
we're getting the studs out and this side here that had a thread cert put in it a long time ago and that's a 3816 which is fine it's a time cert i just kind of need to sand it a little smoother it's got a little upset but we're going to do all our other outside bolts due to one the studs being stripped and two we're going with headers anyway so studs got to go so we'll put our thread certs in with uh, with sealant on the back side of them when we put them in i'm gonna get rid of these studs too this one i already started on it's pretty much out. Some of the studs are obviously more stubborn than others. So, back to our good old beat and points method. I'm sure you guys have seen me do this on uh, Steve's 72 Cadillac. And you're going to see me do more of that on that car as well. So, yeah, beat and quench, beat and quench. Old school, and it works. Right, just doing the French part on that one. Doing the heat part on this one. French heat. French heat. French heat. If you guys ain't grasping that yet, then I don't know what to tell you. And you're always going to have stuff and broken and that's up there. Right, those studs didn't want to play nice so we went and gently cut them off with the grinder as flush as we could and we're gonna go drill them out nice and easy and get them out with the extractor all right mr exhaust stud you didn't want to behave so we've drilled you heated you quenched you and now we're gonna to try to get you with the extractor. And here she comes. When hardware misbehaves. Problem solved. Woo! All right, not only did we get the stud out, but we got Everything drilled out, and now we can drill it for our time cert. Then this head will be done. So let's take care of these guys right here. I'm going to keep preaching to you guys. Heat and quench. Oh, and bear claws are good, in case you didn't know. But heat and quench, bear claws are good. What else have we learned today, little boys and girls?